do we really need JavaScript front end libraries and frameworks? In my opinion, we we actually do need them, uh, mm -hmm. not just because it makes coding easier, but I think we do need them because uh, normally we're not going to be working alone. We're going to be working in a company in a very big project with a lot of other people. And they have been uh, frameworks. Uh, that means they're going to have rules to follow, uh, probably documentation. People are going to be working in a similar way uh, that helps you to get the, the, the code and the project more organized. Uh, otherwise, you just have a lot of people just doing like bare JavaScript. Uh, and if you do not have rules to follow, everyone's going to write the code uh, the way they like. And mm -hmm. I don't know, I think the quality of the code, uh, testing, stuff like that, would be really hard to, to be done right with a lot of people in the same project. If you're working alone, uh, you're kind of going to like you're gonna be yourself doing all this stuff. You know how you code, you know uh, how you do all the things. So it's gonna be easier to maintain your own code, but as long as you have at least one more person in the team, it's gonna, in my opinion, it's gonna be a nightmare. So having frameworks, uh, libraries, uh, patterns, paradigms, I think all these things, they kind of do introduce a, a little bit of complexity, but it's like a trade-off. You're giving more, uh, getting more organization into your project uh, by not allowing everyone to do everything that they they would do otherwise, but having a specific way of doing uh, every little thing, uh, and then uh, being able to test that and make sure everything is working. So, in my opinion, they are really important to uh, be sure that your project is is healthy in general. For sure, Marcos, Diego, any any thoughts there? Um, yeah, I, I believe uh, the, the way uh, uh, the market is designed right now uh, may, uh, may, makes us need the, the frameworks. As Bruno said uh, and explained very well, there's a lot of benefits uh, that we can have with frameworks. Uh, especially when you work in startups and you, you need uh, to develop fast uh, and deliver fast, and uh, so it, uh, it helps a lot. Uh, and today, it, it's uh, fundamental to have a tool like uh, a good framework and good libraries. Uh, also, uh, one other uh, good thing is uh, that we have a big community, so uh, we have. A, uh, a lot of developers around the world, uh, around the world, working and collaborating and giving ideas. So uh, there's a lot to, uh, uh, that can help you on your project, and it's very difficult to to have a, a, a situation that you, the opportunity to to work on a state of art software yeah. that you 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 won't use a framework and and you start to. To write every uh, component uh, right. in your way and, and define every every pattern uh, from the from the scratch and and the the, the downside is that uh, we always have a dependency of the the, the, the maintainers and, yeah. and and the professionals available in the market to work with that, mm -hmm. that technology. Yeah. So let me play the role of the devil's advocate. Yeah, please here do. For, please uh, do. For a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's, a bit, uh, it's good to have a different view. Yeah, sure. Well, um, just to make it clear, like I, I do think that nowadays, like currently, to 2022, we still have lots of benefits. But this is a discussion that I had with a colleague uh, last year, and he shared some articles, and I started. No, that thing that's starts to bloom inside your mind and you think well, maybe it, 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 it makes sense and basically the whole concept is okay like back then I don't know how many years ago we didn't even have jQuery we used to build things with JavaScript and why libraries like jQuery AXTJS first uh, were created because JavaScript was pretty much uh, stagnated it didn't get any new features so it was a way to introduce new features you know and help things get easier and then Angular, uh, Knockout, and other uh, initial frameworks uh, and libraries, they were created to improve on, the, on where uh, jQuery was. So it was improved on yep. that. But then uh, JavaScript, uh, JavaScript started to evolve also. So we have like ES6, we have lots of new features, lots of new things. 
So the thing is, if we use JavaScript back then to build software, and remember, even though it was another world, basically, we did have some very interesting applications using vanilla JavaScript back then. Like moving forward, as we get newer features into uh, JavaScript, and I don't know the next versions of ES 6, 7, 8, 2015, 2016, I don't know what it, the name will be. But as we move forward, will these frameworks eventually be uh, something that's like useless or be abandoned? Right. Or do you guys think that even if we get to the point where the core JavaScript has all of these new and modern features, uh, still, there are some things that only a framework or, or a library like React can provide. I believe uh, uh, you can do everything with vanilla JavaScript, uh, but I find it difficult to abandon the, the, the frameworks, uh, at least at the moment, because we have many, many projects, many apps uh, that use it, and uh, it's very difficult to, uh, to pay for a, a so big change uh, so, if we, it uh, will happen, will be very very slowly uh, when the, uh, new companies and new apps start to develop it from scratch only with vanilla and, and and start to 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 dominate the market. I understand what Diego me mentioned, but uh, what happens is that the web is not built just with JavaScript. Right? We have HTML, and, and on top of HTML, we're going to have CSS and JavaScript. Uh, the pro problem today, in my opinion, with JavaScript is that it does not work alone. Let's put it like this. You, need, yeah. you actually need HTML and CSS to make things beautiful and show up in, in the screen. And what frameworks, or most frameworks do nowadays, is basically uh, mix all these three layers into uh, something that you can work uh, just with the framework. So for example, with React, or even Angular or Vue, you have all the layers uh, kind of uh, baked in the, the framework. So you're able to uh, mix them together and very easily make JavaScript work with your, your HTML and uh, refresh your components, your page with whatever interactions is happening uh, by, by, by your code or by the user. Uh, on the other hand, if you do that with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, of course it is possible. But it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna take a lot of work. Uh, you're probably gonna need like a senior person to be sure that you're gonna have all the code uh, written in a decent way. Let's test it and make sure it's gonna work uh, across every browser because we might sure. still have a, a couple problems with, with browser compatibility. Uh, Jake carries up that in the past. Uh, we do not have a, a bunch of these problems nowadays because uh, today is very, it's a lot more, how do I say? spread through the browsers. But there are still a couple of things that happens between uh, personal systems, between sometimes mobile and uh, desktop uh, versions of the sites. So uh, I think if one day just JavaScript or the web moves to a direction where we're gonna have something that uh, maybe allow us to, like uh, maybe an API building in the browsers that is gonna allow us to do the same things that we do with React, like mix uh, HTML and the JavaScript into a single thing that allows us to easily uh, make them work together. Maybe if you go to the, that direction in the future, we might not need uh, many of the frameworks that we have today. Probably we might have frameworks to do things differently. Maybe someone's going to have another uh, brilliant idea in the future. You're going to have a couple of frameworks mm -hmm. to work through that. But right now, uh, considering the way we build the web, the way things work, I think uh, frameworks are important to help us keep going. Uh, I think without frameworks, we would be either much slower or we would have a way more bugs spread out there. We already have many. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Much, exactly. you, uh, you brought me back talking about uh, browser compatibility because right out of college, mm. I still had to, Still had to support IE6 um, back in the day. So oh, gl yeah. glad that we've uh, moved on from those days. <laughs> that was not yeah, fun. That was not fun to get everything working beautifully in Chrome and Safari and then have to look at IE6. 
Yeah, um, I six <laughs> died so slowly. Oh yeah, I six was a nightmare. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it stuck around for a long time, way too long. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, I see this comment that Marcelo sent. It is a, a, an oh. interesting assumption that I also thought about. Like we need a new jQuery because following up on what you said, Bruno, that I agree. One of the main benefits, from your opinion, of this framework is that it it puts together the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It kinds of abstracts everything. And it feels like you're working with a thing with, with only one thing when in reality you're working with three different languages. So maybe, who knows, in the future, the if JavaScript evolves to a point where it has all these modern features, uh, the frameworks will be much more about uh, making this abstraction layer even better and improving on it. So okay. you really don't have to write actually HTML or JSX. You just write, I don't know, some, some JavaScript code. And internally, it abstracts that and it outputs HTML. Maybe this is also something that is uh, the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I believe even if uh, uh, is everybody using uh, uh, vanilla JavaScript, uh, the frameworks will have uh, some value, for example, to prototype. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have to prototype something no, yeah. fast, you, you mm -hmm. do a, a, a React create app. And, and do something quickly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. As we have in in, uh, in IoT, for 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 instance, uh, you can prototype something fast with JavaScript or Python. But yeah. if you uh, gonna make something uh, uh, bold and solid, we we'll go with uh, C C plus plus. Yeah. 